today i am going to discuss with you a very important principle which i have seen that a lot of novice or beginner designers they take it very wrong and that is uh, basically a psychological principle or which is called gestalt uh, principles uh, principles of gestalt and uh, there is one principle called proximity and what it is uh, related to i'm not sure whether these spellings of gestalt are accurate or not i, I didn't check on google okay anyhow okay so what does this proximity mean proximity means that uh, if you want to separate a uh, few items and you want to uh, appear they sh they should be uh, act as a group you should separate them with something like this okay so you can see on the left side these are three lines or three items or three graphical items and there these are two items they although they share the same color but they are looking separate because they have some space in between them they have some separation of proximity so they are not very closer to each other so this is a problem which i have seen in a lot of designers lately and i thought that i should uh, tell you about uh, this proximity and how you can apply that in your uh, graphic design or web design or ui designs okay so one thing is that you can separate your elements using this white space this is called negative space now the second method which i have shown over here which you might have seen in a lot of websites these days which is that you vary your background so first uh, background is some image then the next one is blue background then the uh, next one is gray background then we have a darker background at the bottom as the footer so this is header so they are variating light dark light dark or something like that so this is another way of separating your content although they are linked with each other they are connected to each other but still you can tell that this is separate this is separate this is separate and this is separate section so you need to use either this technique if you are not using these uh, colors or different sections like that you can use white space a lot of white space to you know separate your content where it should belong okay and the second method is that you can use color to do that you can use different colors different backgrounds to show that so i am going to show you two examples of my students recent ones i have seen this is from akshay one of my students and you can see although this color scheme looks great very uh, dark background and very contrast sharp colors uh, i love that color scheme and uh, anyhow but the problem here you can see is that this uh, top navigation uh should be a bit separate from this uh, heading and all that and this this area okay so this heading or subheading area must be a bit separate from here so uh, right now what i see or my eyes or my human psychology i am seeing this as a whole section top section which is inaccurate because this area belongs to this section so there must be some separation between two these two sections so uh, as you can see he is using just the black color over here so what method he is going to use he is going to use this this method of white space so he need to use a lot of white space over here to separate these okay so if he can add like 50 or 60 pixels more over here i think it is going to look separate okay so this is one thing and one step now you can see here if you see this is a separate section and you can see there is a good gap over here from the bottom section but from the top one you can see this is a different section uh, let me show you so this is one section so the gap between these two is very small so they are looking like uh, this is only one one section okay so make sure you are using good amount of white space and that this gestalt principle of proximity now again if you look at this bottom section over here he used very variants of colors to separate the sections so this one really looks separate although uh, this section this section and the section below they don't have a lot of uh, space between them or white space separation so they are looking separate because of this color separation so uh, the color is uh, different for this one and this one so we are seeing these as two separate sections so this is very important if you cannot manage to you know uh show your information sections or this information belongs to this section 
it is going to confuse your user and the user experience of your uh, website or web app it is going to get some problems so this is a very um, you know this is uh, one thing which i am seeing in a lot of designs of my uh, novice designers or my courses students uh, so this is one and uh, another example which is from my typography course uh, for you designers and developers and this is a great example from jim uh, he submitted this uh, assignment i really love these colors and uh, this uh, image and everything they look really nice he, he added just one color over here which is this red color i really love it and uh, this is a great use of this color scheme anyhow okay so the problem he was having was the same uh, that this section if you look at this section this is text and it should be one whole text body okay so this is body text it it uh, it is meant to read read by the user and uh, what he was doing wrong is that he separated them a lot of white space with a lot of white space so what he was doing is that he was using this section over here and uh, this quote over here and they were like over here okay so let me hide these modules because this is a topic of my typography course now you can see although uh, design wise or from a perspective of design and layout it looks great but the problem here is that and if you use the proximity principle this looks like a separate section and this this uh, second section it looks like another section so you need to avoid that you need to keep them close uh, because this is one section this is one unit and uh, if you look at this one this is separate you can move the heading a bit above uh, or anyone this one this graphical element is separate this image is a bit separate but this but this text is not separate it is in continuation if you are reading this one then you are going to read the next line or paragraph so i hope you have enjoyed this lesson and you got some really good principles of uh, this this principle of proximity if you can master this principle i think you can design a lot of great layouts and uh, ui designs i hope you have enjoyed this lesson if you uh, want to take my courses to improve i am going to create a separate course where i am going to discuss this gestalt principles and how you can apply those to uh, create uh, awesome looking designs uh, because this is a bit separate topic this is uh, about uh, principles of designs and something like that okay so if you have any questions you can comment uh, below in the facebook and uh, don't forget to share it with others don't forget to subscribe because i am going to only share valuable things okay so that's it see you soon in the next video